Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a bit of a different and a new one for me. How exciting. It's going to be a new in. It's kind of what is a new, like what products are new at the moment. So things that have just come out and stuff, but also things that I've just got um, new at the moment. But there are a lot of these products are like new to the market. So like what is new at the drugstore, but kind of not, but with favourites and currently like my thoughts and stuff that I've been trying out recently. So the first thing I'm going to talk about just to get out of the way because it's quite sticky because it's been in my shower. This, which is the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Energetic. You can read it for yourself. Shower gel in the orange, orange packaging and it is a new and yes you would have seen this in a recent haul. Oh, it is really sticky. The product itself is very liquidy. It's very liquidy. And yeah, it washes well. I've used it a couple of times and it's it's a, it's a good shower gel. It gets the job done. From what you just experienced then, you can kind of tell I'm not a big fan of that packaging because I was thinking about this in the shower the other day because my all-time favourite shower gel, Dove Men Plus Care, any of the range from that, love. That shower gel is very thick. This one's very liquidy and thin. The cap like the how do you call it nozzle um to get that out the l'oreal mon literally you open it up and it just pours out it will just continue to stream don't like that the cap needs to be thinner or the formula needs to be thicker otherwise that's going to create a hell of a lot of mess and it has and it's all sticky everywhere now the dove men plus care one although it's thick there is actually a little stopper inside the Dev Men Plus Care one that um, kind of stops all the product coming out. I always take that out because it's difficult to get out of that packaging as it is. The packaging, but I've kind of like adapted the packaging to my taste so I can get it out easily or easier. It still takes some effort when you get to the end, but I like the packaging for that because the product is thick and the nozzle isn't is thinner than the formula the thick formula whereas with that it's really made me not want to use the l'oreal one also want to talk about quickly two things from the new hydro Pal range by l'oreal men expert i've got two things here first off i'll start off with the face wash it's a good face wash it's 7.99 which is quite i think it was 7.99 it's or 6.99 one of the two which is a bit more expensive than like Bulldog for example and I'm not sure if it is good as Bulldog is quite as the name would suggest Hydra it's quite liquidy and stuff so it works it's got menthol in it which I don't think really adds much to it but it's just a good bog standard one and then the other thing from the L'Oreal Men Expert range is the Hydra Power um, basically a post shave balm it's a shave slabash though can't speak this, I've used it three times, I, know, I don't know if that's good enough judgement, but sticky, very watery, very, you can see it in the bottle, very, very watery, not too sure on this one, I don't really like it, um, just leaves your face really tacky and sticky and it's really watery and hard to like apply because it just flops everywhere, but there's better ones on the market for post-shave creams. Moving on to a range that came out fairly recently, it came out at the end of May, is the Bulldog Oil Control range. Now I bought three things from this range the other day from Boots. I bought the Bulldog um, Oil Control Face Wash, Oil Control Moisturiser. I also bought the Oil Control Face Mask because I've only used one face mask in my time so I wanted to give this a go. I've used the, starting with this for example, I've only used this once so I can't really give too much on it but yes it was a good experience, that's all I'm going to say for that. Using these two products, the face wash and the oil control moisturiser, a little bit of background, first off I get an oily t-zone so my forehead gets very oily so I've been using a little bit of a dab of this on my face every day and to compare it to what I have been using in the past, I've got a Boot Skin Clear Matte Moisturiser that I use on my forehead. This one lasts longer and I feel like it kind of lasts nearly all day. So I do really like it. The other one only lasts like two hours, so in compar comparison to that, that is a good one. Face wash, I can't really speak too much about the oil control properties of that because 
I use this after I've used this, so I feel like they probably work both together really well. Um, but I feel like this does more than this does, but can't really speak 100% on that. But I do really like the face wash. A little bit goes a long way with this. You do not need much. Like with the moisturiser, the first time I used this, I pulled out quite a bit too much because it's a very thick formula. It doesn't like foam or anything, which I found out like through watching Caroline Hyman's you don't it's not an essential to have it foaming. So it kind of just is leaves a clean little bit of a foam milkiness on your face. So that's really not really milky but like a clear gel on your face is a gel formula. So yeah I do really like that. Continuing with the like whole face thing this is not necessarily a new product I don't think but it's the Boots Botanics Men Sensitive Moisturiser with SPF 15. I really like this. It's um it's the smell of this is very much sun cream a little bit and the consistency is a bit sun creamy as well but I do really like it and I love the fact that it's SPF 15 but it's a good moisturiser and it's good ingredients because it's Boots Botanics and it's got the SPF 15 so high praise for that indeed and I've been doing that a lot. Last off I'm going to move on to um, hair care and I was kindly sent these products. Um, all this stuff's got, I've used this in the shower and it's got stuff on it already, great. I was sent a few things from the label Doc Men brand, which I believe is like kind of to do with Tony and Guy. So I was sent the scalp purifying shampoo. Now this made my hair very fluffy. Um, I've only used it once, so I can't really talk too much on it, but it is very fluffy after using it and I also was sent the scalp tonic to go with it. Um, I've used this once, I'm not too sure what happens to this, I am having my hair cut soon so because it's really long obnoxiously long so hopefully my hair will be shorter so hopefully I might get more benefit out of this. I'm not too sure about this product yet I've only used it once and again I was also sent the uh, label Dot Men Destructure and now this is like a styling and this is a clay and I really like this one. You need a tiny bit again with everything I use way too much but it really puts hold on your hair which is really good for a clay and it's not sticky like other ones I've tried um yeah so I've only used it once but I'll report back later on but I do really like that so far it's got really good hold with being matte as well so my hands are really sticky from the Lori Elving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit of a different video. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, if you've tried any products recently, I'd really like to hear your thoughts on anything skincare, anything hair care. I'm really interested in that. Also, I wanted just to give a little plug, plug to my Instagram. I have been loving posting on there recently. And if you want to see more of more stuff that I don't share on my YouTube because I've been sharing a lot more stuff recently on over on, on my Instagram. I've been posting nearly enough every single day over there. So I'll leave that link below. It's linked below as always. But you'll see stuff before you'll see stuff on here. So I go highly recommend go checking that out. But yeah, hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.